Hey guys, Turles and stuff again. Uh, so I'm going to be doing 1.6 gallon flush tests on this toilet. I was going to do 3.5, but 3.5 is pretty much identical to 4 in terms of how it flushes. It's only slightly shorter, so I'm going to do uh, the 1.6 gallon test instead. I did the overfill tank test, so there's a bunch of water dripping underneath it right now because there's still water on the back of it. But anyway, here's the flush on 1.6. I'm going to have to manually close the wall at a certain level. Let's do the first flush. And that's about 1.6 gallons. Give or take maybe 0.1 of a gallon each time because I, I have to stop it at the same spot. I did a test to make sure it was 1.6 and it is. Major problem with 1.6 on this particular toilet is the bowl doesn't refill all the way. I had to replace the ball cock if I ever want to convert it to a 1.6 gallon flusher. Let me just fill up the bowl. Fill the bowl a little bit. There we go. Should be good enough. Fill the tank to its appropriate level. For this particular ball cock, it tends to stop about maybe three eighths of an inch below the water level. All right, now I'll do just plain Jane washcloth. I have it on hand. So let's see how it does on the washcloth. Took it without hesitation. Again. Yeah, the problem with these old toilets is that the, the, the reason why the ball hawks are designed like this is they're designed to use a whole tank and that it would take the whole tank's time to fill up the bowl because of this, the, there's a lot of, because this opening at the, uh, where the water goes out into the tank is so big it doesn't allow for a lot to come out here. So you could either put a restrictor at the end of the thing to make the diameter smaller or you have to replace the ball hawk. So the bowl's almost full, let me fill it up a little bit more. And then I'll go try, um, just a, I'm gonna try a normal, just a dish towel. Let's see how it does with that. Let's get it there, it's about the correct level. Left. There we go, it's fine. Uh, let's try a dish towel. This should be interesting. Let's see how it does with the dish towel. I was a little bit more on 1.6, I was more like 2, so the ball got kind of crooked and stayed open for a little bit longer than it should, so I'll redo that test again. I'll pause it so I don't have to wait for the tank to fill up. Here we go, back with the thing. There's a few more inches. There we go. Let me just do this. That's stuck at the bottom. That's tend what tends to happen because there's slight barbs in the trap and things tend to get caught on it if it's not using, if it's using only 1.6, but it did go through, it was hanging out the bottom, there just wasn't any additional water to push it through. So we'll go on to the next test, which will be a grocery bag. Here's the grocery bag. I'm very doubtful about this one. And it, has, it has the same problem as the other one that got caught at the bottom. If you flush it again, it would go through, but there, also the bag got filled up with water, so it completely swelled up the trap. But it did, it did go through. It was hanging out the bottom, but it got stuck right at the end. Now I'll do the dirt test. Oh, get some dirt. Uh, I have no idea how this is going to perform. I kind of have a slight idea. I, I think it's going to do quite bad. This is not even that much dirt. This is only like a small handful of dirt. I sprinkle it around the edge to simulate the rinsing power, but generally these, um, these toilets just don't do well. Uh, uh, toilets on 1.6 gallon just don't do well with this test. It doesn't matter what the toilet is. If it's an old toilet, new toilet toilets, if they can siphon on at 1.6, they're not going to flush well. Just saying. This one I think will do better than I pretty much expected to, so let's flush it. It did typically bad. You see a lot of debris in there. But at least it didn't do as it didn't do as bad as the Cimarron. I'll do a slightly larger dirt test to see how it does on that. And then I'll that'll be the end of the video. I might do one more test, which 
I don't really know what else there is to test, to be honest. That's important. So I'll just do one more dirt test and then we'll be done. Okay, here's a, this is about a cup of dirt. And then I was saying that, um, this is way more than any human would ever pass in terms of specs that'll get left in the bowl. Maybe liquid waste, like the, the diarrhea or something like that, but this will never ever be, um, it might be this much, but generally not really. So let's see how it does on 1.6. That was slightly more than 1.6, but you can see it still failed. It did not do well at all. So, um, basically that's... It did better, a lot better, than this. This new toilet. On the same amount of water. So that's saying something. I mean, it was slightly more. It was about maybe 0.2 of a gallon more or something, because the thing got stuck, stuck open a little bit. But still, it did a lot better. Then that, um, the well worth. The, these things are terrible. They don't flush right. They, um, they, the, the main problem with modern toilets, and it, it exists in this one when you even use modern standards, is the way they flush. Uh, basically, here, here, here's a pretty much an example. I'm gonna flush this on 1.6. See how it flushes, and then the flush abruptly stops, and then it siphons out? That's what's known as a half flush. That basically means that the toilet has not had enough water put into the system to continuously feed the siphon through the siphonic action. So it's, it feeds the siphon just enough to get it started and then it stops like a few seconds after it starts and then it, it ends the siphon. So there's not enough water, there's no water feeding the siphon to allow the siphon to continuously suck in the waste. So that's why stuff like this happens, stuff gets left behind. That, that'll happen with any toilet. It doesn't matter how old it is. You have to make sure that the siphon is fed. That's my doggy. You good boy. You have to make sure the siphon's fed throughout the whole flush. At least until the siphon, it starts to suck the water down to, it, at least it can't just raise and then stop and then go down. It has to be going down while the flush is still going and then when it gets to the bottom, it can stop. But that that this isn't happening in this toilet. This toilet starts stops and then it goes down on 1.6 like any other modern toilet which is it's not a good design it doesn't work right now this toilet this flush good on two two gallons of water maybe 1.8 something like that um because a siphon um the water will go back down and then it'll siphon but generally it doesn't do very well on 1.6 in terms of waste like this bags stuff like that it does pretty good but anything like this it doesn't so anyway that's pretty much it for the 1.6 gallon tests on this toilet and don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And any suggestions for any future tests you'd want. Um, my This toilet's 100th birthday is coming up. And... I believe it's September sometime. It's September 4th or something. I thought it was... Oh, September is nine, so it's already passed. So I guess that's kind of out. So this toilet's now 100. It, it, it just turned 100 on September 4th. I forgot to do a thing for it, but oh well. Uh, but just uh, on my 30th subscriber thing, I'm going to do a special thing where I flush all my toilets out here. So uh, stay tuned for that whenever 30 subscribers happens. I'm at 28 right now, so that'll be hopefully soon. And anyway, that's about it for today, so I hope you guys are having a nice day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.